Welcome to chapel. Today, our student council will be leading worship. Yeah. We begin with the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. It's that time again at St. Paul where we want to celebrate those people that have baptisms in April. And so, if you have that baptism in April, you can listen in, but everybody should listen in because each and every day, we can wake up with the newness of life knowing that the Holy Spirit has given us life and forgiveness through our baptisms. Listen to this. Right at the beginning of our baptismal remembrance, it says this. There is one body in one spirit. There is one hope in God's call to us. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of us all. As Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. And so we celebrate by the power of the name of God. It is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's a Father who has created you, how unique you are, and how special you are. He's created you in that way. He has this, is God the Son who has redeemed you. He has saved you from your sin, forgiven you by putting his hands out and dying upon a cross for you and me. It is God the Holy Spirit who has taken that message, that gospel of Jesus Christ and brought it and delivered it into our hearts and into our lives and so that we can live as forgiven children of God, redeemed children of God, incredibly special, baptized children of God. Our verse for this week picks that up a little bit, and that comes from 1 Peter chapter 1. I want to read that to you quick because it says about being purified, that the water that is used in baptism, it is simple water, just water that really comes out of the back faucet and being able to put out there. It's nothing special about the water, but it's when it's attached to the name Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It does something. It does complete the promise of God to you and to me. And so as that's completed, it says this in verse 22. It says, now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth so that you have sincere love for your brothers, love one another deeply from the heart. Love one another deeply from the heart. You've been purified. You've been loved. You've been forgiven by God. He did that right from his heart to give it to your heart so that you could love deeply towards others. Baptized children of God, celebrate your baptisms this day. You are incredibly special, that God loved you so much that he brought you into the life of Christ, brought you into the baptism, dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Can we thank the Lord for those baptisms today, but also our daily lives being chosen and loved by God? Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for the privilege it is to be called baptized children of God. And Father, we thank you for the waters that were poured over us as a baby, as a student, maybe even older in life, as some of these, someone that is watching. Whenever it is, Lord, your promise is attached to simple water. We thank you that it says we're forgiven. We thank you that you've loved us. And we thank you that in our baptisms, we can have that incredible promise. You'll never leave us nor forsake us. And so purify us from all unrighteousness. Purify us, set us apart to be those baptized children of God, loved deeply so that we can love our brothers and sisters and everybody in this world deeply in the name of Jesus. I pray this all in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. As we're celebrating baptism, let's review one of our favorite songs, the song, Yes. We start out and we say, and God said yes to you, and he said yes to me, and then put some water in the baptism water flowed. Put a little clap freely. So let's start that part. And God said yes to you. He said yes to me when the baptism water flowed freely. Then you point up in the name of the Father. Then we're making a dove here for the Spirit. And then the cross for the Son, for Jesus dying on that cross for us. So you say in the name of the Father, the Spirit, the Son. And then we're walking. A journey of faith has begun. So start from here. In the name of the Father, the Spirit, the Son, our journey of faith has begun. Let's sing together. And Oh, 
from 1 Peter 1.22. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth for a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. Our student council wants to celebrate that brotherly love with our St. Paul family. We miss our St. Paul family so much and recognize how important it is to show that brotherly love, especially at times like this. Please enjoy chapel as our student council spreads love St. Paul style. So today I'm going to be telling you guys a verse that you should definitely think about and apply to your lives during this difficult time. And that verse is Psalm 34, verse 4, which is, Seek the Lord, and He will deliver you from all your fears. Whenever you're just feeling down, just always seek the Lord through everything you do. Love each other with genuine affection, and take delight in honoring each other. Romans 12, verse 10. 1 John 4, 9 which says, This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. First Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 8. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love you, St. Paul. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. My favorite Bible verse is John 15, verse 12. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Please join us as we sing Reckless Love.
Please fold your hands and bow your heads and close your eyes as we pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this amazing day that you have given us. Thank you for keeping us safe from COVID-19 and we pray that this pandemic will quickly end. Through this pandemic, you have shown us how to spread endless love, enjoy the little things, and to be grateful for the life we have. Help us to spread the love and kindness through our days. We pray all of this in your holy name. Amen. St. Paul, Jesus loves you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.